In the second tutorial, we'll look at adding some layer effects to type. So I've created some type that I want on here, and I've got my three type layers up at the top. Now, at some point, when you're working with blend modes, it's quite likely you'll get quite a few layers here. I would suggest organizing them. You can put them all in a folder by clicking the top, holding shift, clicking the bottom to select all of them, and then dragging them down to the folder which will create a new group. So I'm going to just name this one Effects. Alrighty, so my type is white and you can see that it's really starting to disappear where it goes over her skirt. It's too similar of a color so I need to create some contrast between it and the background. So I'm going to start on my Legends layer. To add a layer style you can double click over here on the right side of the layer where there's nothing written and the layer style window will pop up. There are quite a few things in here we can mess with but we'll leave that for another day and really concentrate over here and look through some of these options. Like the brush panel to have the editing options for the word up here you need to click on it not just check it and then you end up with a whole bunch of fun things you can mess around with just to see what it does so this is a bevel and emboss. It makes it look like it's being poked out a little bit. Pretty much anything that Photoshop throws on there automatically for you will have a fairly dark black shadow. And one of the tricks to making something look better is to actually go in and reduce the opacity on that shadow or even change the color of it by clicking that little square and choosing a dark color from somewhere around the image um, and then still playing with things like opacity. Now you'll notice I have some blend modes or shadow mode and highlight mode that's also those are all those blend options so that's why I wanted to one of the reasons I wanted to show you those blend modes in the tutorial before so when you see these you kinda know what they are. I will admit I don't actually have a um, <laughs> per item memory for what each blend mode does. Mostly I just flip through till I find one that works great. So here we've got bevel and emboss. There's lots of fun little options you can come through and click on just to see what it does. So go ahead and mess around with those till you find something that you really like. You can add more than one effect by just checking another of these boxes. So I'm going to click on drop shadow which is usually a good thing to add. Again making sure that it's not a black shadow is going to really help it look real. So just remember that shadows aren't really black and you can change either the color or the opacity to make that happen. So this is really starting to come together and I can easily see it outside of, uh, see all the edges of the word. So I'm going to call this good and click OK. In your layers panel you can see that now this layer has some effects applied to it. You can hide those effects by clicking the eyeball off and on or even see what individual ones would look like if they were taken away. You can minimize the effect by clicking on the little drop down. Alright so I want to put this exact same effect up here on the word miss. Now I could double click on the word miss and add it that way but that takes a little while to remember all the settings. I'm going to show you a much faster way. You want to be on the layer that has those effects. Right click and choose copy layer style and then go to the layer that you want to add it to and right click and choose paste layer style and there it is, it's the exact same thing. You can actually do this to more than one layer at a time if you have two layers selected. I just did that by holding command and clicking on the second layer. I can right click and say paste layer style and it will put them on both of there. And as soon as I click the minimize, as long as whatever I have, um, as long as I have a couple of layers active, it will actually minimize all of those. So that looks pretty good. Now if you've spent quite a bit of time creating an effect and you really like it and you think you're going to use it again, there's a way you can save that. You need to open your styles panel, so window and styles, 
here it is and per usual the ones that Photoshop came with by default are rather hideous you can create an a new layer style as easily as being on the layer and clicking out here in the gray area to add a new style and you could give it a name um, you have the option of including layer blending options that's if you have set a blending mode to that layer you can remember that as well if you'd like when you click OK it's been added like most of the other windows we've looked at you can change the viewing option in here from a small thumbnail to a small list or a large list which is why it's sometimes useful to give a descriptive name to your um, to your option or to your style and just like your brushes it has a preset manager so if you come up in the right top corner click and choose preset manager you get the same window and in here you can choose multiple to save as sets and uh, so on so I'm going to show you what happens once you've saved a style let's make a new layer and grab your marquee tool and just select an area this doesn't really matter we'll just be filling this with a color I'm going to uh, grab a kind of tealy green that I think might look good with this and then fill it by hitting option delete on this new layer and then deselecting to get rid of that I think I'm gonna put this behind or below my text too so I just clicked and dragged that down when you're on a layer you can add a new style or a style that you've saved just by clicking on the style up here so you can see some of these depending on what qualities they have saved will completely replace the colors that's because if I add one of these and then double click on it to see the layer styles that have been added I can see that this one has a color overlay applied which is right here and it's got a multiply added to that so this is a great way to learn how to create spe uh, specific effects in layer styles is to actually just look at a layer style somebody else has made so like brushes you can also download people's layer styles that they have created and put out there and load them as your own you can save off cool sets that you've got and just have all sorts of fun with it now what if you want to remove the layer style well Photoshop has an automatic default style none button up here but you can also just right click and say clear layer style let's for kicks and giggles just uh, add a blend mode to this and see if anything looks awesome so I've grabbed my move tool by hitting V I'm holding shift and I'm gonna shift through these because I kind of like the way that helps my type show up a little bit yeah maybe not okay that didn't work out so great I'm just gonna delete that and then save my file okay that's quite a lot of fun this is your Photoshop PSD layer file if you want to save it as a JPEG you would go to file save as let's see I know it's in here somewhere file save as and then change the format to JPEG and when you save it it will not have all those layers and you'll have a flat file that you can move around and that's a lot um, a lot smaller so yeah that's layer styles in a nutshell